Hello, welcome. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is teach you essentially what I do via Rock Band 3 on how I um, have learnt to sing. First thing you need to do is capture the gameplay on the computer. This is just for chain purposes. Now, I'll be using this mic because this mic is actually better and louder than the normal mic I'm using nowadays, which is my really cool 50 style mic. It's a dynamic uh, NJD, really cool. But um, this comes in later, it comes in handy later when you've got your technique down in terms of confidence and how to sing, so to speak. This one, what I found, because it, my voice is not as loud, I have to push and uh, it gives me a um, need to be more powerful and therefore I become more powerful. So it's a good tool for advance, so to speak. So we'll put that aside. Right, now what we're going to do, we've got a mic stand, so we'll put that here, make sure it's a uh, correct distance, not too close, not too far, and uh, we'll set up the game, we'll put it in practice mode and choose a good song. So I'm going to turn on the speakers now. Excellent. Now what you want to do, you want to choose a song when you're first starting out, um, which is closest to your talking voice in terms of octave and sound. So I'm talking like this, so I want a song that's kind of like this. So uh, Rock Band has a ton of songs to choose from. There are other scene games, you've got Sing Star on the PlayStation, you've got um, Guitar Hero from Guitar Hero 4 onwards, whenever they've got the singing involved. Uh, you've got Karaoke Stage on the PS2, and I think, no, I think it's just PS2. Um, obviously the other Rock Band games. Uh, you've got Lips on the Xbox, you've got various other karaoke type games, singing games. Uh, stuff like that. Games only as a um, tool to help you sing. Um, we'll uh, go on from there because it's taken from what you learn from the game and using it in real life. Uh, okay, let's see. No, no, no. with your overall singing. So we'll do a full song for now. And uh, oh yeah, must uh, change the uh, settings. Uh, go to options, vocal options, vocal track volume. Now you probably want to start with that fully up so that you can hear what the um, original artist is singing and how they're singing it. So we'll put that fully up. Put the mic volume, that's how it's normally set. We'll put that down a bit because you don't want to be self-conscious of how you're sounding. But eventually those two levels will swap. You'll eventually get rid of the vocal track and put your mic volume up to maximum. So we'll put that down to about there. 
Uh, we'll get rid of the mic 2 volume and the mic 3 volume just in case, even though there's only the one mic attached. So we got maximum volume vocal track, a little bit of volume that, and that's all good. So now with this game, you've got that little. Um, now I can't just realise I can't actually talk to you with the camera on the uh, goggles and have the game playing at the same time with the loudness. Hmm. So. Just uh, keep your eye on the uh, little arrow, um, there maybe, somewhere around here, I'll see what I'll do in the edit. You'll see it's the line and it's got an arrow that goes up and down like that. That's your voice, and the two lines, uh, that whole bar, that's your one octave range. So you've got the low to high. And uh, typically you can sing almost any song in any octave in the game and it'll still register, which is good when you're using the game because uh, it's good practice um, instead of having to force yourself to get to the right octave straight away you can practice at the lower octaves um, and then work your way up to the higher octaves so uh, we'll give this one a go I'll probably stop it uh, midway through the song and uh, we'll go singing at all, just listening to the original artist. Listen to a song. You'd ideally want to choose a song that you're already familiar with. I mean, everyone has songs they like, they love. They're probably hummed to it all the time, and um, you, you probably want to feel like, well, I don't want to just hum it. I want to kind of like sing. Typically, whenever anyone's learning a song as well, or when I do anyway, the most repetitive part is the first part you learn, which is usually the chorus. So you usually start with the chorus because it's the most familiar part that you know, and then you work your way to the more complicated verses, and then you just put it all together and you've got your whole song. But, uh, that's good for learning a song, but that's good also kind of if you already know how to sing. If you don't know how to sing at all, best way is to start off um, in your talking range and then work your way up. This song is a good way of doing that. So we've got the first part, this first verse. My voice is like this, so um, the song plays kind of like this. So we'll play the first section again. Uh, without me singing, and then again with me singing. And what I'll do with me, with me singing is I'll change the volumes, and uh, you'll see the difference. <laughs> just for me to show you um, how my voice sounds similar to this person's voice when they're singing. Uh, with yourself, obviously, you'd slowly move the uh, vocal track lower and lower and lower, um, and move your mic volume slowly higher and higher and higher, um, until you're comfortable with it. So we'll do this. <laughs> On the way, on the way home, 
me singing it and um, as you can tell it's very close but it's also very close to my talking voice so I'm not actually straining I'm not pushing um, I will put links underneath or wherever it is in YouTube and whatever layout um, in the description uh, of uh, other people teaching you proper techniques in terms of uh, breathing make sure you're breathing at the right place um, make sure you've got a bit of confidence a good stance, good standing position. Singing while sitting is not really a good idea because you can't really use your lungs and your diaphragm and everything properly. Um, yeah, there, there's other information, other people, more professional type people. This is just how I've kind of learned how to do it. Um, so, getting back on track, we've uh, gotten this. So now we should go choose a new section, one that has a. Uh, I think. A Most of this song, this particular song, it's mainly da, 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 da. it's the same type of like range where it gets to a certain part where it's kind of high and then you kind of like push it but it's still in the same octave range. So, what we'll do is we'll listen to it again, um, just the original artist, and then I'll sing it, and then you can see the range, and um, we'll go from there. to the song, you get a feel for it, you then give it a shot. Uh, it doesn't matter how you do, as long as you feel comfortable doing it. Always choose songs that you feel comfortable doing. Don't force yourself to do a song you don't feel comfortable doing. Don't force yourself to do a song um, that you know you don't like the type of. Say for example, I'm not a fan of rap music, so I wouldn't choose a rap type song. I like uh, rock music, so I'll choose a rock type song. I like ballads, so I'll choose a ballad type song. Uh, I'm not likely to choose a reggae song to sing because, to be honest, I personally don't really like reggae. Um, so it would be pointless choosing a song in a genre you don't like to practice on. Always choose one that you're comfortable with and start off with. So what we'll do, we'll change the song. Uh, we'll go back to Music Library. And uh, let's do uh, one I've done recently, actually. We'll do this one. been practicing put it on easy you don't want to put pressure on yourself uh, we'll start off with the first one because it's got a bit of an intro um, again this one's very similar to my voice in terms of octave now this particular band uh, have done songs that are in various different octaves and various uh, ranges so this one's a good one to learn on again because it's mostly flat so to speak um, another good one would be Wake Me Up When September Ends, although that's a bit higher. So we'll try this one and then we'll go to that one, just to give you a bit of show how. So what we will do is we'll again swap the sound, the vocals, and uh, let's listen to the original. Uh, with the uh, volumes changed. 
again. I take the postcard sent to you. Did it go through? Send me all my love to you. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Now I'll restart that and show you what happens if you mess up. It means absolutely nothing. It's okay to mess up. Um, you just keep going, you just, because there will be parts, especially like certain lyrics you don't know, uh, that you'll just forget, um, and so on and so forth. So, this is what happens when you mess up. It's practice mode in the game anyway, it's practice mode for a reason. I sent a postcard sent to you, did it go through? Oh. See, it does make a difference. Because you're practicing and uh, you can just restart, do it again, until you feel comfortable, you get it right. Um, that was a bit exaggerated, I'll admit, but uh, there are times where you can get lyrics wrong, you can get the wrong note. Um, it happens to just about everyone, I've done it a couple times on videos, you've probably seen. Um, but it makes no difference, you just you keep going, you don't stop, you make sure you keep going with the song, keep going with the flow, if needs be, just stop, wait for the next set of lyrics, and then continue on from there. Um, just don't worry about it. If anyone says anything that like, oh, you're crap, or you're, you're making mistakes, it's like, well, it doesn't matter, because you're the one doing it, not them. And if they want to chat like crap, then they can prove themselves. And if they can't, well, you know, that's them. So, let's do something a bit more harder. Uh, let's change... oops... Change song. I'll oh, go to, uh... Wake me up when September ends. So that's the same singer, but slightly different higher singing. Verse one. We'll listen to him again. And typically, you'd want to uh, do songs that are uh, male singers. If you're a guy, you sing male singing songs. If you're a girl, you sing girl singing songs. But there is no rule saying that you can't do either. You can have a male guy singing a female song, a female singing a male song. It makes no difference. Whatever you are comfortable with, you sing it. And if you can pull it off. Whoa, if you can pull it off, then it's good. Then it's good. And even if you can't, at least you're the one having fun. Fun is the important thing. If you're not having fun, do something you're more, do something you're more um, comfortable with. Right, let's restart that, because I've stuck too early. So this is his voice, not mine. Summer has gone the best The innocent can never last Wake me up so, same singer, same band, uh, different song, uh, slightly different range. So this one's a bit higher, so you've got to sing a bit more higher. Now, like I said before, there are going to be links in the description um, where other people will teach you exactly how to sing uh, in terms of um, reaching higher notes, where you... Well, they go into more detail than I am. I'm basically saying... Um, listen to what they're saying because they're more professional. Uh, but if you need a tool, or well, rain in. if you need a tool or something to help you um, use a game, um, they're fun. Um, there's, you know, you can play it with a bunch of friends. Um, you don't have to go to an expensive karaoke bar. Uh, or even a free karaoke bar and feel embarrassed because you're singing in front of strangers. Uh, you can just do this in your own home, like I'm doing here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, now we'll do this with my voice. So it's turning out to be quite a long video, really. Right. Okay, so same singer, but different, slightly different range. Summer has come and passed 
the innocent can never last. Wake me up when September ends. So yeah, it's a simple case of listening to them and trying to replicate it. And then once you've gotten to grips the song, uh, you can add your own flair. Um, or like, you know, make the song your own, so to speak. I tend to um, hold notes a little bit longer than the original artist on certain lyrics, certain parts. Um, I tend to uh, maybe sing slightly different. Like, a good example, uh, I'll go back to music thing, and it's finding download content. Okay, take your time, I've only got about like 900 odd songs in here. Yeah, I have, in Rock Band 3, I have exported all the songs, apart from the ones that can't be exported, from Rock Band 1 to Lego Rock Band uh, and Rock Band Blitz, all into Rock Band 3. Plus I've got a load of download content and network songs up here. I haven't got the ACDC pack yet, but I'll probably end up getting that eventually. Right, um, This one, Brian uh, Sims, uh, yeah. So, with this one, he sings it, uh, let's see. because I've somehow managed to sing it completely different to how he sings it, yet it still flows with the song. So, um, once you're comfortable, if you can't replicate exactly, or if you're not looking to replicate exactly the song, um, make it your own. It's only a game, uh, and you're not um, a professional performer on a stage, and even if you are, have you heard live performances? They're not like record studio exact same quality, they are slightly different, otherwise they might as well just be lip syncing. So um, yeah, make it your own, and uh, just as long as you're going with the flow of the song, uh, listen to the instruments, listen to the uh, backing vocals as well, you know, just get into it. So here's the original. Style. Right, that bit, especially that end bit, I for some reason can't get that exactly right. But what I have done is made it my own. So I will demonstrate that for you now. But first, let me check the battery. Battery is good. Battery is good. A little worried about the battery on that. Okay, let's restart that. Okay, for some odd reason that actually fit it perfectly, but I, um, it's typical really when you're trying to demonstrate for someone else and then you actually do it what you're not supposed to do, but that particular part I do tend to have a little bit of trouble with, that song I do tend to only 3 star it instead of 5 star it, but that's because, uh, like I said, uh, I don't get things exactly right, and uh, I just um, make it my own and just sing um, my own uh, part of the song. Okay, let's uh, go back to the music library. In dreams. In dreams. 
beaten by Roy Orbs, and now this is a guy. Um, let's do the full song. <laughs> this is a guy who has amazing range. I can't remember exactly how many octaves he has, but he has an amazing range. Classical, uh, classic good singer. This particular song, available I think as DLC, um, goes from really low to really high. So if you are practicing to go in from really low to really high, uh, this is um, probably an ideal song to try. Because um, you, you're going from low to really high. Like, well, I can't really do it while talking, but you know. Um, so we will we'll do half. Half half, so if I mess up, you can still hear the originals. throughout the song it gets uh, higher and higher and higher uh, until we'll uh, practice a new session instead of going through the whole song. Um high and long notes, that little gap, take a nice deep breath and then using techniques explained in the other videos, um, you let that out, like yeah, you don't push but you, you let it out, so we'll go uh, practice new session, we'll go to that. transference from that really high note to that lower yet still high note. Um, that really high note, um, I'm using what uh, is um, mentioned in like the previous videos as the head voice. There's two voices, you've got your head voice and your chest voice. So at the start of the song you'll be using more of your chest, throaty, low, deep voice. And at the high part you'll be using more of your head, like almost nose, nasally type high voice, really high voice. Um, with the higher notes, um, I found that in order to get them stable, because if you start trying to do them at a uh, low volume uh, or with less air, you uh, it wobbles about, you, your voice breaks, uh, you don't get it out properly or good. Um, you need to push, you need to get that power, what I like to call power, into it. You need to make it loud regardless of um, how conscious you feel. Um, without pushing and making it loud, it's not going to be stable. Think of it like a, uh, a bicycle. Now, when you're riding a bicycle, if you're going slow, it starts to wobble about. If you're going fast, it straightens up and it's more stable. Think of um, 
your notes, your high notes especially, as a bicycle. If you don't push the power behind it and uh, out, get it out, you know, really strongly, um, then it's not going to be as good. It's not going to be powerful, it's not going to be stable, it's not going to be sounding good. Um, low notes, you can get away with breathing a bit low because you need a lot more air um, going through your vocal cords to get the lower notes going. So it's like, deep breath, always deep breath, but it's like, uh, you know, but you, you can do that quietly, but a high note, if I was to do it at the same type of volume, uh, see, it's a bit, it's a bit wavery, but if you do it like really loud, which, um, for some reason I can't actually do, it's a bit embarrassing somehow, without music, I'm a very musical person, I need, uh, some sort of musical background. See, that's another thing uh, with uh, practicing with mu uh, singing, is um, you get used to uh, little habits such as uh, I need, in order to sing, I can't sing a cappella. I'd need some sort of backing track. I uh, need some sort of music playing uh, and playing loud as well because, you know, you do feel self conscious, but um, for me, once the music's playing, it's like I'm part of it now. Whereas if it's just me on my own, it's just like, well, how do I know I'm doing it right? I don't actually feel like I'm a part of something. I just feel like I'm doing something on my own and it just doesn't feel right, you know? It's like, um, I'm like almost a train and the rails, uh, the music is are like the rails. So I need music to guide me uh, to get the right notes, the right octaves, the right speed and everything. Uh, but that's just me, that's my personal thing. Uh, other people can just like sing, like, go, sing, and they're like, done. They're singing straight away. No music, no nothing, they can do it. Um, other people uh, can sing in front of people just like that. Other people need um, some sort of just to sit there and wait and build up their own confidence. It's all fine, everyone is different. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you take your interest in singing and making it so that you actually are singing. Um, however you do that, purely up to you, like I said again, this is just one of many ways of doing it, using a game as a tool. So um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, use the game, get, get, get a game, any game, uh, use it, make sure it's got a practice session, uh, make sure the game has access to any of the songs that you like. Like I said, with Rock Band, is probably your best bet because there's a massive library of songs. Uh, go on the Wikipedia pages of their normal DLC and their network DLC and also exported songs. Have a look through, there's bound to be at least one or two songs in there that you like doing. Um, and just practice it. Practice it uh, easy mode, practice it in sections, um, and just get used to it. Practice it, play it loud, play it softly, do whatever. Um, go back to music library. Blurry is a good song. Um, where is it coming from here? Blurry by Puddle of Mud. Now, well, years ago, I used to uh, be playing a, a game called uh, Amped. Uh, I used to always listen to like um, Puddle of Mud music and all that. And uh, you know, you, you, you play a game you, uh, and you just uh, you sing it a lot. It's just like, yeah, you, know, you kind of know the lyrics already, uh, but you don't know. Um, exactly all the lyrics or how to put it all into order so to speak. So you use a game and uh, you get it you get it all in order and uh, it helps you refine what you already know. And then once you, you're comfortable doing songs you already know, like this one, um, I'll just play the intro so you get an idea. <laughs>
song is an on disc song on Rock Band 3. Um, I had heard it before, but I'd never actually um, thought of actually singing it. I never actually. I didn't dislike it, but I didn't exactly like it. So it's just like one of those songs you hear, and you're just like, yeah, yeah. So um found out it was on Rock Band 3, and it's just like, you know what, I could probably sing that. And so I gave it a shot, um, obviously uh, in practice mode at first, um, and then it's just like, hang on, I can actually do this. I can actually do this, you know, wow. So I then started doing it more and more and more, kept doing it, uh, started learning the lyrics uh, a lot more, while automatically, you automatically learn the lyrics uh, the more you do a song, especially a song that you enjoy. Um, and uh, now I can actually do it, I can do it really well. So it's just a matter of um, start off with something uh, easy, something around your talking voice, uh, get used to doing that one, uh, build up your um, vocal skills. Uh, your vocal cords are essentially a group of muscles that you do need to work out, um, and uh, the more you use them, the better they'll get, the more stronger they'll get as well. Um, don't push yourself, don't strain yourself. Again, uh, stuff like this will be in the videos and linked uh, in the description below. Oh, beep. That must mean that either the memory's full or the battery's going to die. So, um, yeah, have fun with it. Um, Rock Band 3, good choice. And uh, sing and enjoy. Text a postcard sent to you. Did it go through? Sending all my love to you. You are the moonlight of my life. Every night, giving all my love to you. to you I walked for miles till I found you I'm here to honor you if I lose everything in the fire I'm sending all my love to you I'm here. 
Did I am? 